Trevor. Uh, time where you learned to play rugby at senior level. Well, not learned, but you spent a lot of time here. You must be had to back in a test in Bloom for the first time in quite a while. Yeah, um, very excited. Uh, it's been it's been quite some time. I think that the, I don't think this is where I actually started uh, playing some some professional rugby. So very excited to be back and uh, looking forward uh, looking forward to to this coming weekend. Trevor, do you have, what memories do you have of Bloemfontein as you played for the XCS as well? And do you show your teammates around in Bloom? What do you do in your free time with your teammates in Bloemfontein? Yeah, um, yeah. I spent some time playing uh, for CUT and uh, seven years with up here in Bloemfontein. But uh, when it comes to when it comes to showing around, I think the more recent guys are like uh, your Ox and, and Joseph. Because to me, it was it, it's, it's quite different from the last time I was here. Even the stadium itself, I get lost sometimes when I'm trying. We're going to the changing room. So uh, yes, there's a lot of different things. But uh, it's it, I've got great fond memories of this place. Uh, I think I, I won some I won some uh, junior rugby trophies here with the Cheetahs, so uh, it's it's a great place for me to come to. A very it's a bit difficult to breathe when you're running, but um, it's a, it's an awesome place for us to be. We know your Afrikaans was quite good when you were here. Tell us about your French. Yeah, French is <laughs> <laughs> French is is a difficult language. I won't lie. Uh, of, of course, Afrikaans I learned I learned at school. And uh, when I came here, obviously, uh, a lot of things were, were spoken to us in Afrikaans. But uh, French, um, I won't lie, I understand, I understand if you talk rugby in, in French when the coaches are trying to, to, to install things into us, that, that I get. But the problem is the moment I walk out of that place and uh, the context is completely different, that's when I really get lost. So here and there I can understand a thing or two, but uh, it's, 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 I think it's going to take some time. To, to learn how to speak the language. So but just just on that, um, how has your rugby education been, you know, for the past, what, six months in, in Paris and stuff? Have you enjoyed it? Have you felt, you know, that the technical intricacies have enriched your game? You know, just how's been the rugby experience been up there in the French capital? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think, I think yeah, in I think Southern Hemisphere rugby and uh, the way we coached, down here is is completely different, and the way the game is actually officiated is completely different. Uh, yeah, I think most of the things we do are by the book. Uh, we follow a lot of like the law and stuff. And uh, when I I, I learned um, some, I could say in the very hard way, and uh, some some things. And in France, sometimes you you just feel like you're on your own, and you gotta stand your man. So it's a lot more it's a lot more challenging. It's it's really physical, week in week out. It doesn't matter if you're playing the team on top of the log or the team at the bottom. You can any day you can take a hiding, and I won't lie. Some of those backs up there do really look like forwards. It's really it's it's really scary. But uh, I think I've, uh, one thing I've learned is is to know how to to man up and fight your own battles at times because you really do feel alone. But uh, the physicality of the game they play might be a little bit sl they might be a little bit slower than what we have here, but. I promise you, week in, week out, if you don't, if you're not mentally prepared, you're gonna get hammered. Um, last week, the, the Welsh tried to get under the skins of the Springboks. Um, how do you deal with that? I'm sure they'll come with it again. Is uh, discipline obviously important, but you've got to also fight fire with fire. Yeah, you know, I think I think most most teams try to to do that when it comes to us, but. Uh, yeah, you can fight fire with fire, but you also must be smart. You don't want to. You don't want to be sent off the field for saying something ridiculous or, or doing something that's uh, not worthy of the Springbok colours. So uh, for us, it's it's going to be tough, and we know they're going to try their best to do that. But uh, the the only way we know how to do things is to be silent bullies, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We want to inflict pain. We want to inflict our physicality on them. So if they're going to be talking and doing whatever, we'll let them do what they do best, and uh, we will do what we know how to do best. Tell were you were you part of the class of 2018? We played against England. Yes, I was. I was part of the class, but uh, um, unfortunately, I, w I was supposed to start on three. Um, that weekend, but uh, unfortunately, I broke my ribs during the week Can I ask you, in, my training. My, 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 in training. My colleagues also ask you your, your, your experience here in Bloemfontein. What is your memories of, of, of the Toyota Stadium? Is it easy playing around here, especially with visiting teams? No, it's definitely not easy. Um, 
yeah, it's, I think I think with the after after Pretoria and and uh, and Johannesburg, this is probably one of the the hardest places to to play in. As I said earlier on, it's a bit difficult to breathe down here. It feels dry. It feels like there's not there's not a lot of oxygen. So it's a it's a it's a bit tougher for 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 teams coming here. And uh, even when I played for the Cheetahs back in in the years, I felt like uh, it's it's always it's always tougher for the other teams. And when we play against the guys. That's what that's what they say, and uh, I think that's why we actually gave it the nickname of Bechraf Plus. So it's a it's a tough place to 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 come and to come and play. <laughs> all I'm hoping for is that all 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 of the guys that are going to be playing, whether you've had, you have uh, f over 50 caps or or less or starting like uh, like Kirtley is just that the guys enjoy themselves and and we do exactly what uh, what what the coaches have asked us to do and i think if we if we manage if we manage to do that then uh, that it doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what the result will be we just need to to stick to perform to to what we want and uh, if if we win uh, you can call it whatever you want to call it if you want to say we, it's a craftness then let it be but uh, for us it's just to go out there and perform as well as the coaches would like us to. Yeah, yeah. Just, just the, the the fact you say it's dry and it's it's the air is a bit different because uh, a lot gets talked about altitude the whole time and that. Does it surprise you that Wales decided to only come up on Friday? Yeah, hey, they they can make. I don't know. Maybe they felt that uh, up there in 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 uh, in Joburg or whether they were in Pretoria or whatever, the altitude will help with the training or whatever. But uh, in my from my experience. It's a it's a different ball game when you're down here. So uh, them coming, it's their own decision. They look at things the way they want to look at it. But uh, for us, we knew we 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 know Bloom. We South Africans. We know how it is. And uh, it was our and our coaches and management decided to bring us down earlier. So I can't I can't I can't say I'm I might surprise with what they they do. And I won't lie to you. I wasn't even sure. I, I didn't even know until you mentioned it to me. So we just concentrated on what we needed to do and. Uh, and try to make sure that when Saturday comes, we'll be uh, well conditioned for it and we'll be able to execute what we need to execute.